Yo, what's good, gang? This the dope guy. I am back with another video, big dog. Well, many of you know what the day is. Hence the shirt. You see? It is the one year anniversary of my granny's passing. A lot of you guys know. Some of you don't know, or most of you don't know. But a lot of you guys who watched my video last year, when I did a video two days after my granny's passing, my granny's health was failing for the last few years. Bad kidneys, couldn't walk. It was just a lot of things going on with her these last few years, especially once the pandemic hit. Not saying she was affected by the pandemic, but a lot of things have happened since then. I don't know, it's just crazy. That day is, that day has replayed in my mind every day since April 24th of 2021. When I was out and about with friends, when I was out with my girl, I was just around my other family members. When I was working on a YouTube video, or I was just working on other stuff in general. That day of my mind replays all the time when my granny passed, because I'm the one who found her. Let me give you a little backstory for some of y'all who don't know the story. Um, my granny was on hospice care. She came home, they gave her two weeks, two weeks max. Her stomach stopped digesting, things were slowly shutting down and we just decided that we wanted to have her home for her last moments with around us that was a wild experience bro that was a that was this surreal to me because i always looked at my granny as a superhero just immortal you know i always felt like my granny was gonna be around forever because that's just the type of life she lived she lived a great life traveled the world she was a grandmother to the whole neighborhood she took care of everybody she looked out for everybody she was just that special woman, bro. And just, just her not being here no more is tough because I just, you know, everyone, everyone has to go sometime. But sometimes you just feel like people are supposed to be around forever. April twenty fourth, two thousand twenty one. It was around 11, 15, 11 30 ish. I don't remember the time exactly. I'm kind of guessing at this point. But I was scheduled to give her her medicine. She couldn't chew, so she had like a tube in her arm. We had to give her a medicine. As I'm giving her medicine, I'm prepping, talking to her like, okay, Granny, it's time for your, you know, your daily routine and your medicine. Man, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to move it inside. It was, I was enjoying the nice breeze, but you know, it was too much noise activity with the birds chirping and motherfuckers arguing early in the morning. So I just had to move it in the crib, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed by it, but whatever. But yeah, man, like I was saying, um, I was just giving her medicine, preparing to give her medicine, and then. I realized that she was a little pale. I touched her body. She was cold, feeling cold. And that's when I realized that she was gone. Um, my sister was at work. We had to call her, let her know like, yo, granny is not responsive. And so she rushed home, you know what I'm saying? We had to deal with all that. Help the nurse give her her last bath, bruh. Um, some people probably would think it's weird, but I didn't. It was almost like I'm taking care of my granny, even though she's gone officially. But, you know, I still was there taking care of her as if she was still around, still alive. My granny lived to be 80 years old. That is a blessing. My granny lived her life. She lived the best life traveling. She was retired. She, she lived a great life, you know, and I miss her so much. I miss her dearly, bruh. Life ain't really been the same without her. You know what I'm saying? I still got my family and whatnot. My sister, we still keep it in core. But just with my granny gone, knowing that we already lost a lot of people over years, like my brother, my mom, my grandfather, and a list of other people, it's it's tough, bro. You know what I'm saying? You really have to be mentally strong to deal with this type of stuff. And I don't know how I find the strength, but I just got it in me to just deal with everything that's been going on over what? Since I was 16 years old. My brother died in 2006 summer of 2006 i was 16 years old bro and that was i thought that was tough and then my mom died in 2010 then my great granny passed in 2011 and my grandfather died in 2016 now my granny has passed in 2021 it's just <laughs> i don't know man i wish i had the words to really truly explain how to deal with this type of stuff but i can only speak for myself because this is my experience can't speak for other people other people probably won't even managed to deal with just losing one person, but I've lost at least four or five important people in my life. You know what I'm saying? It's tough, but you know, I just find the strength to do so. I got the support of my sister, my friends, my girl. Made new friends last year, so I got the support of them. Shout out to y'all. 
I just, I don't know. I don't know how I find the strength, but you know, I think about my granny every single day. I'm even wearing her today. I'm representing, you know what I'm saying? I have to represent. <laughs> every time I be sitting there thinking like, damn, bro, she's really gone. And it, it, it hurts because my granny is my pride and joy. Best friend, I get my sense of humor from her. Um, my ambition, everything comes from her. She is my superhero. It's just, it's tough, you know what I'm saying? But I deal with it. My sister deals with it. Um, my nephew, he's 17 years old. He understands what's going on. My niece was, what, two at the time when Granny passed, so she don't know what's going on. She's just being her playful self. But the thing is, she still thinks Granny's at the doctor, you know what I'm saying? Thinks Granny's still at the hospital sick. And I don't know how the hell we're gonna explain it to her. As we get, as she gets older, to really understand what's going on, but you know, when that time comes, we'll get there. Yeah, my granny's my pride and joy. I miss her so much, so much, bro. I'm just gonna do everything I can to keep her legacy alive, honor her, um, put some respect on her name as always. You know what I'm saying? Crack my jokes here and there because it, I would do the same jokes as if she was still around. So I'll still keep that same sense of humor. Granny, I miss you so much. I love you. I can't believe it's been a year. It's been the longest year of our lives, bro. Like we've like we lost a lot of people, but losing you has been a roller coaster. And we just find the strength to do so. But we're gonna honor you. We're gonna we celebrate you. I'm gonna try to keep strong. Um, be there for my sister and my other and my family. We love you. We miss you. You know what I'm saying? You will always be in our hearts. You mean the world to all of us, bro. I'm speaking for all of us who know you, who've been around you, who are, you know, we I speak on everyone's behalf that we love you, we miss you. I just appreciate the woman you were to me. I just appreciate the woman you are. I was waiting for this day to come. I was like, it was like marked on the calendar. I was waiting for this day to come. And yeah, um, it's gonna take it one day at a time after this. You know, it was already tough dealing with having first holidays without you that was tough your birthday was in january that was tough and here we are one year removed from your passing and it's just it's been it's been a whirlwind it's been it's been crazy but you know we're gonna maintain we're gonna keep it pushing keep your name alive and keep the legacy going bro granny i love you so much bro you you already know i miss you i love you rest in peace